Welcome back, everybody, to Naked Dino Man. This is the chapter, the episode where we turn our Decepticon death bungalow, which is kind of what it is. It's like a place you would go and spend a lot of money for a few days, some kind of really schmaltzy, fancy, pantsy resort, maybe in the mountains or on some, some island somewhere, Fiji. Fiji doesn't look anything like this, but just play along. Uh, we're going to turn our Decepticon Death Bungalow into a proper Decepticon Death Fortress. Bigger walls and actual defenses, which we haven't really had. I mean, we've got little spike barricades on the exterior that are nice and magenta-y. Actually, I think that's... Uh, is that pink or magenta? I think it's pink. They're pink. Is magenta... I don't remember. doesn't matter. Not important. Actually, I think it is magenta. It's not important, though. I don't care. doesn't matter. We're going to actually add actual... Actual, actual active defenses in the form of turrets. So uh, we're going to be building up the walls quite a bit. And I think what we're going to do is we've got to make them a little bit thicker. I don't think we're going to have the imposing death fortress look that I'm really after. With really, it's just like paper mache thin walls like that. And we're going to have to double up. So here's what we're going to do. I did not design this with this in mind, but that's okay. I left myself enough space that we can adapt. Actually, right here, uh, I need to put a door in there, and that is the wrong unit. I don't want the... Let's see, what number are we looking for? Four. Do I not have any? Oh, I used them all. Okay, all right. Bird, <laughs> give me some more of your Wally justice. Your Wally goodness. Okay. Good to carry around a bunch of extra building supplies on an Argent Harvest. They can fly up around, look at stuff. And they also... Uh, they have a pretty high carry capacity. That guy can carry like 600 pounds. Yeah, so we're going to double up the walls. Now, if I do this, let's just uh, do a little thing here. A little experiment. Are these walls going to be at the same height? Looks like it. Okay, sometimes, I mean, you would think that would be at the same height. Sometimes that is not exactly the case. The game has a, a kind of a wonky building system. Not everything is on the same grid. Like in Minecraft, everything's on the same grid. You've got full blocks. Everything's based on the, the cube. And occasionally you'll have shapes that uh, fit within that, like a fence or uh, stairs or things like that. But they always snap to the edges of the, uh, the cube. Here in... Ark Survival Evolved, where we've got uh, Naked Dino Man and lots of dinos to ride. The train isn't suited for that, but the, the building system is not on an exact grid. Not even remotely. Uh, some items seem to be, like the foundations and the roofs, but then the, the pillars certainly are not, depending on how you connect them or the order. If you're building up, you're building down. Uh, you're going to end up with little kind of remainders, little errors, little places where things don't line up. So, you just, I, you just have to kind of learn in which order to do things, or build them in a consistent manner, so uh, if you end up with those remainders, everything's got a remainder, you know? Everything, if everything's offset, it's lined up, right? Uh, let's see. Yeah, I think that'll be better. That'll be good. So, we're going to build all the way up to, I think, right about... Okay, uh, actually, I should be able to land here. There we go. Okay, that's going to make it a little bit easier. We're going to build all the way up to, I think, maybe here. Possibly one block higher. Turrets are going to be there. And one thing we need to do that's kind of important is we need to run the electrical cable because the turrets, for which I found a blueprint some time ago. Man, those turrets are expensive. Uh, the turrets, they require electricity as well as bullets, and I want to I wanna get rid of this wire, so we're going to run a new wire up there. Let's go ahead and grab some wires. What are you doing? Okay, my Bronto is... Never mind. Let's, let's give him some privacy. Maybe he wants to be left alone. Let's see. Okay, so, Fabricator. Uh, I have a Blueprint Auto Turret. They take 70 electronics, 140 metal ingots per... Uh, cementing paste 50 and polymer 20. I'm gonna have to go kill some penguins to make some more, but I made two. And I do want some vertical guys. 
so I can start laying this out. I want to see how this cable is going to line up. And then let's straight electrical cable. Okay, just take all of those. I'll probably have to make some more. But that'll get us going. I've I did uh, I did several mining runs. I made about 5,000 ingots of metal. So much that I didn't have room in the fabricator. And I had to put the extra ones in the smithy here. So I've got about 5,000 ingots. It's going to go towards uh, bullets and weapons and turrets and fun stuff like that. We're also going to have to spend it on uh, electrical cable, all that kind of miscellaneous stuff. All right, so we got a generator right here. And I've got a cross piece right there. I guess I didn't grab any cross pieces, did I? So I want to I wanna hide the cable in the wall, go up, and then have it carry over and then back down and underneath all this stuff. So it's as minimal as possible. We're going to be reworking the cable on this side. What are these guys doing? They're acting weird. So to make it as minimal as possible, kind of want it as far back here as possible. Maybe even coming out the back and the side or maybe just straight across. We'll be fine. Let's go and see if we can get that to snap. I think I just want the horizontal ones now. And I don't even know what I'll be snapping to here. So maybe we should start from where we can actually see. I might have to demolish the wall. Oh, that's a cross piece right there. Uh, but I cannot see. I suppose we could just go right right out the uh, the side of the generator. Or is that... Yeah, that's coming... Okay, so this cable, there's a cross piece right here. And I think it's coming out the side... Let me point with my spear. It's coming right out the side of there, that way. And there's another one coming out that way. And I think you can have another one coming out that way. I don't know if you can snap anything coming out the back or going straight down. But I think that's the initial snap point right there. Uh, so I've got some here. And I could... I guess I could test. And I, I will, off camera, to see if our grid lines up. Just in case... But then we would have this go into here. So now it's going to be embedded inside this wall. So we won't even be able to see it. And I don't have any stairs or anything in here yet. Oh yeah, that's going to work. That's going to work pretty good. Pretty good, I think. So I'm just going to run it up the top, along the edge, back down, build up the wall, make it look more imposing, and maybe give it a paint job. So, several hundred stone walls later, we have something a little bit more imposing. You know, when I was doing prep before this episode, I had about 200 stone walls, and I thought they might possibly be sufficient. That was actually before I decided that we needed to double up our wall to give it a real sense of, you know, thickness and strength. And so, I blew through those. They vanished in a puff of smoke. I had a witch's cauldron. I threw them in. I cast a spell. And the spell summoned a mighty wall. And then I went and I I made like another 150, 180 or so. And those are about half gone. But the, I think the results are pretty good. I'm a little bit... Uh, I, I'm not sure how I feel about the ramps showing through the wall. I guess I don't really care. Once we start putting the turrets here, it's probably not going to be that big of a deal. I, my original idea was to have a turret on the top of each side uh, to start... We might do more than that, maybe uh, two on each side, one on the top on each side, and then one beneath, so I got a little landing platform here, come on guy, there you go, okay, let's see if I can land, or let's see if I can get off the bird without dying, lovely, okay, I did it, that is a fatal fall right there, so the turrets are like this, they're this big, and I'm thinking if we're going to place them here, it's probably best uh, if we give them something a little bit more like a tower kind of look. Something a little bit more built up because there's just not much space. For instance, if it's here and I have to walk behind it to reload it or walk past it, uh, I'm very close to the edge. So <laughs> I think we're going to do something like that. It's also going to perhaps give this wall a little bit of shape and character. While it is large and imposing now, and partially painted, I might mention. It would be really great, by the way, developers of the game, if you could change the paint sprayer to where you can use it from an animal. I think it's probably not possible to use the paint, paint sprayer from 
while you're mounted on an animal because they coded it, uh, they use the code base, the functions and whatnot from the weapons. Uh, which you also cannot, like I can't use my tools or my spear from the bird. But it's, you can build from a bird, so they obviously intended you to be able to fly up and build, and you, you can't attack anything with a paint sprayer. So I think this should really change that. It would be so much nicer to be able to fly up here and paint this stuff. It might be hard to hit it to aim, uh, but it is kind of tricky. Yeah, okay, so uh, let me show you a little bit the inside of the walls. I actually think it's kind of cool and interesting. And it reminds me a little bit of Demon's Souls, if you ever played that game. The precursor to Dark Souls, there was uh, particularly the Archstone 1, was uh, just a big castle. And inside the castle walls and inside the castle were all these like wooden platforms and ladders and stairs and stuff. And I guess that's just a functional thing, right? You need to be able to get up and around and down. And you build those out of wood, most of the walls out of stone, and then you have the little holes in the wall to uh, put the posts in and then build, oh, we're on the wrong side. Build whatever you need inside, and it just kind of gives me that feel. Uh, I decided to put these in here so that we could get up and down in the guts of the thing and paint it up and whatnot. Uh, but I do think it's kind of it's kind of neat somehow. Just, I don't know. I don't know why, it just sort of gives me a nice pleased feeling. Why did I come up here? Uh, we are going to wire up. I want to test out my wire. Was it, was it just... I think it was just to show you the insides of the wall. All right, let's go back down. Unless I can remember what I came up here for. I want to test that I uh, connected up the wire properly, that it's all aligned, that I didn't accidentally uh, snap something to... I don't know if you can snap one of these things to the wall. Let's just see if we... like. I'll, yeah, I can't, see how I have green? The wire is green because we're inside the wall. I tried to snap it to the uh, thing, and just because of the, the the way that the wires work, you have to, for instance, if I go vertically up on this snap point, the wire is only going to be able to go that way and that way, so I had to use the one that was mostly embedded in the wall to go up, so as soon as we got there, we could go that way. Uh, one issue that I have is we can't quite bridge the gap. And this doesn't look quite symmetrical somehow. Uh, that's possibly because the gate isn't quite... It might be a visual... Uh, what, what do you call it? Like a... A visual glitch. Not a glitch, but... um, An optical illusion. I think they're centered... What I think I might do... I think I might run a line of stone columns from there all the way down. And that would not really impinge on the, the the door clearance. Things could still get through. It wouldn't affect the width or anything. And then we could go one block further. We would still have, looks like a one block gap in the middle. I think that might be all right. And then we'll build a, a little tower thingy around each side. This one does have a, you can see in the wall, there are ramps. So we can just run up and be careful to fall down the hole. That is a doozy. So I think I'm probably going to put... Oh, okay. A little rubber banding. I think I'm going to put a door right there once we get to the top. Or maybe right here. And then there will be a, a staircase along the outer edge that goes up to the top. So we can access the, uh, the top of the wall via ramps or via ladders. The ramps, I guess, would be quicker. Because you can just run. The ladders, you got to sort of play shoots and ladders. What was I going to do? Oh, yeah. We, I want to test my wire. So... Uh, it comes from the generator, goes up there, down there, along this wall again, and then underneath here. Uh, this is a much nicer, much nicer layout for the wire than what I did previously. So what I want to do, I want to test it. Once I break this, all of the lights on the other side should shut off. Blunk. Okay, let's see if they update. Uh, where do I got the lights? There should be one right there. You are off. Are the other ones on during the daytime? I think so. That one is on. These are off. Okay, so these are off. So now I can come over here, and uh, we can just sort of see if this is wired up. By demolishing the old one, it's an electrical box, and this wire. And I believe... There is a light. 
Let's go up and look where it is because another thing I want to do is uh, I want to minimize the number of wires that you can see visibly going through the walls. Let's just guarantee, uh, confirm. Yeah, okay, that is on. But you see how the uh, that wire is just going through the wall at a wonky angle? Especially, oh my gosh, especially right there. Yeah, it's just, it looks ugly. So I want to minimize that as well. So let's go over here and uh, let's go up top. That's what I was going to do. And see where that lamp is, and then try to put the box as directly underneath it as possible. It's right by the door. Okay, it's in the junction of that. All right. I noticed, by the way, that I've got a, a wall here that is backwards. <laughs> I didn't notice that when I was building it. And now that I notice, it drives me crazy. So it should be right about there. Let's crouch down. Um... All right, the light, it lit up for sure. Lit up for sure. So that means my my wiring is a success. I didn't screw it up anywhere. It was hard to see because when you when I built it down, the wall was already there. So I was sort of uh, trying to make sure it snapped, but wasn't really 100% sure. But apparently, lo and behold, that works. Awesome. And this one is not on. So what I'll do is I'll, I'll just go through systematically removing the old wire. And adding in new wire, we can get this ugly eyesore out of the middle of my base. I have crafted up a pretty good amount of ammo. I think I'd, I I might not have the right ammo for uh, the turret. I think it can take a couple different types. I'll have to look it up. Um, I've crafted some ammo for a different gun. It might be a different type of ammo. I'll just have to look it up before I actually place it. Got to figure out where that's actually going. But uh, I'm going to clean up the, the wiring system, and then we'll install the turret. So I'm about out of time for today, for time to make the episode. But I figured we would set up one of the turrets before we sign off with this episode. Put uh, something like 350 stone walls into this build so far. And once we perfect what it's going to look like on this side, of course, we're going to do the same thing over there. I did, uh, I fixed up the lighting system, so we no longer have that wire going through the middle. I added a few extra lights as well, so it's even uh, just a little bit brighter at night. There's a few lights right there at the base of the wall. I guess maybe eventually we'll put some on the outside of the wall too. We're just going to light up the world. All right, let's, uh, let's land our bird right here. I'm going to base two of the turrets directly on top of the, the edges of, let me just try to get the bird in a spot where if I jump off I'm not gonna die let's let's just fly away land again that's probably a good idea but I'm gonna do a, like a little tower turret thing for the turrets okay brush fingers oh god <laughs> okay we're okay uh, I'm gonna base it right there directly on top of the corner and I'm gonna drop a series of stone columns down right here so that means we will be able to build out two spaces, so even one more if we need to, or if we want to, like, a roof kind of thing, if we want to mimic that kind of style. Okay, uh, enough delay. Let's go ahead and plop this guy down and test it. I mean, now that I've got the soon-to-be-repainted Skylinks, <laughs> I swear I'm going to do that soon, and probably change his name to a Decepticon or something. Uh, now that I've got him transporting metal back and forth is so much easier. Oh my gosh. Uh, so this is going to be like a little test. And I guess you can rotate it. And we're going to see uh, kind of like how the line of fire works, I guess. Oh yeah. Look at that thing. Okay, so we have an unpowered auto turret. 3,000 health. Targeting players or tamed creatures only. Oh, I see. So you can uh, set it not to waste bullets on uh, just random creatures that wander by. But I want to test it on those creatures. So we got to hook it up to the power. Bam. Powered. All right. Let's drop 100 advanced rifle bullets in there. Got them done building for the day. I think uh, next episode, we're probably like ping pong back and forth. I want to do a little bit of adventuring. Maybe tame something we don't have yet after spending so much time building this. Uh, okay, so let's look at the settings here. Let's go ahead and turn it on. Oh, man. Yeah, that, that, that did it for me right there. Did you hear that sound? 
Let's, let's listen again. <laughs> oh, yes! Oh, I love it! Okay, we gotta have like 17. Two, two per wall? No, we gotta have like eight. Change warnings to two seconds. Ooh, there's a warning. Pick up automated turret. I don't want to do that. don't want to demolish it. Don't want to access the inventory. Set pin code. Okay, here's a good one. So the lights are on 5555, five, 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 so let's just put the turrets on... What else am I... I'm going to do the windows eventually. So let's put the turrets down here, like on 7 for now. I'm going to always change it later. All right, so we got a pin code. We can turn the thing on or off from our little dashboard in our base. Clear pin code, set pin code, change range to high. What is it set to? It should be... I want it set to medium. I guess this just cycles. Okay, let's put it to medium. And change targeting to... All targets. Oh, yes. Okay. So, uh, what we want to do now... I want to see how this works. Let's go find something we can carry over here and drop. Medium range is supposed to be something like 17 foundation distances. Uh, and I assume that's vertical as well as horizontal in a sphere around the thing. Possibly in a cube. Probably a sphere. Uh, but I don't know, so I want to test, like, if something wanders by, uh, will it get immediately annihilated? These Galamimus, I can't uh, pick them up. Let's see, can I pick up the Scorpion? can't remember what I can pick up with this thing. I... Ooh, here we go. All right, Scorpion. Pulmino Scorpius. Prepare to... Prepare to get fired upon. <laughs> now, is the turret going to shoot me? Or shoot at the scorpion while I'm carrying it. Oh, I didn't do anything. All right, uh, maybe let's tell you what. Let's go ahead. Let's set the range to high. Oh man, I need to expand this platform. It's going to be a problem, although uh, once I have this set up and the, to the way it works, I'll just run up here with the ammo. Ammo doesn't cost a lot. And I do... Oh, gosh. Oh, God. Okay, let's do it like this right here. Crush your fingers. Oh, gosh. Okay, we did it. Okay, so uh, let's see. The power's on. Change targeting to all targets. Let's... Oh, I have to change it. What is it What is it targeting now? I thought it was act... that was activated. Targeting only players. Oh, I see. That's why it didn't work. Okay, target to players or tame creatures only. All right, so I had it on the wrong setting. Let's try medium again, and let's try to find something a bit bigger. So let's jump on our mobile clown infantry platform. Okay, fall off the bird. Here we go. Skylinks. For the skies, Skylinks. And you've got a level up. That weight allowance is getting close to 2,000, which is really nice. Uh, I smelted up something like 5,000 ingots yesterday. Or maybe it was two days ago. And I think it took three or four trips to fly them all back and forth. Would have taken way more than that. Okay, what do we have? What are you? Oh, that's a terror bird. Let's get something uh, like a stegosaur. Something with a decent amount of health that I can carry. Come on, dinos. I can't carry a bronto and I... I don't want a Bronto attacking my wall. Even though I can kill it, I don't want to have to go around repairing my wall. I just want to test the range. And I want something... Well, I just want something. Okay, maybe an Anki low. These guys are super tanky. I don't know if I will have enough ammo to kill this guy. That's another test we can do, I guess. Ankylos are very tanky, have a lot of health, very high defense. They're extremely slow. But do a ton of damage. He might just wreck my base. I don't know. Let's see what what his reaction is. Because these guys... Oh, there's a T-Rex. Uh, they do fight back. And one thing I want to find is uh, an Alpha T-Rex. Because I got a special surprise for an Alpha T-Rex. Should I find one? I've crafted up quite a few things for that. Alright, turret. And nothing. <laughs> okay. Great. Uh, one th cool thing about this bird is he can just hover here. 
and create his own little platform. All targets, let's try to... Okay, bird, seriously? Come on, man. C come on, bird. Let's try putting... No... Oh, you attention whore. I'm trying to get the turret working. Maybe if we face him the other way. He is kind of a menace, this bird. All right, stand there. Don't move. Oh, gosh. Okay. Range. Let's try high range. Is that guy still down there? He's there. Can you... Oh! He targeted. You see that? He targeted. Okay, did it fly away? What happened? Let's, uh, let's go look. And then we should also probably check how many bullets he has. He's way down there. But uh, he definitely... that The turret started to target him. And when I log off, I'm, I'm not going to keep it on this setting. Because that would be stupid to waste bullets on normal animals that normally aren't going to bother me. Come on, turret. Do something. I'm wondering if line of sight... Yeah, see how he's uh, he rotated a bit? I don't know if it's doing anything. It might be too high up on the wall. It might not have line of sight. We might have to embed the turrets. Oh, no, it's shooting! Yeah! Oh! Get it! Get him! Oh, wow. Okay. Did you do it? Oh, I think he... Are you dead? Yes! Oh, we killed the... Awesome. Okay, you're gonna be dinner for Skylinks. So we killed... What level was that? I didn't even see. Level 40 or something. Killed one. It works. Uh, the range could be better, but it's good enough. I will change it to uh, not target just normal animals, because that's a big waste. Alright, how many bullets did that take? I put 100 in here, right? 11! To take out an ankle. Okay, that's pretty good. That's a pretty good conservation. But anyway, okay, so that's it for this video. We will continue working on the the fortifications here. And I'm going to add more of these. They only take like a hundred something metal. What's that to me? Nothing. We're going to add a whole bunch of turrets. And uh, a whole bunch of other cool stuff to the base. Next time, maybe we'll try to find an alpha T-Rex. If I can find one, I'm going to blow him up with a missile launcher. Hope you enjoyed the video. See you later. Take it easy. Have a good day. Bye-bye.